Hi everyone. Michael and I just wanted to update um, everybody with some things that are going on with us that are really exciting. We are just blown away by what God's doing, His grace, His timing, His provision. It's just amazing. Um, we just got back earlier this week from Ontario. While I was there, I was in the stu uh, recording studio for a day of recording a song, a song um, the Lord gave me about over two years ago, and it's about God's heart for the nation of Israel, basically is what is it's about. And um, the background of the song, why it, it even came into being was at the time, two years ago, we were working for a ministry um, that had partnered with another ministry that was going across Canada. It was called uh, Loving God, Blessing Israel Tour. And basically they were going from the West Coast to the East Coast, holding meetings and um, just fundraising and doing different things all for uh, to bless the people of Israel and they had these 10 white trucks that they were traveling in across to Canada so the head of the ministry we were working for called me one day and as this uh, tour was coming up and just said Naomi do you think you could write a song um, about what we're doing about these 10 white trucks going across Canada and I remember just laughing on the phone with him and just saying well let's see what me and the Holy Spirit can come up with um, but when I hung up I you know I just kind of chuckled because all I could hear in my head was you know a banjo playing um, uh, talking about these 10 white trucks going across Canada kind of like a country song uh, so I thought, how in the world am I going to write a song about this? Um, but I did, I did take it to heart. I took it seriously, and I just began to open up God's Word about and read about what God's heart is for um, for Israel, for His chosen people. And um, one of the scriptures that really um, spoke to me was from Psalms one one twenty two. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you, the holy city. May peace be within your walls. Um, another one was Psalms 102, 13. You will arise and have mercy and loving kindness for Zion, for it is time to have compassion for her. Yes, the set time has come, the moment designated. So all these scriptures I just began to to dwell on and pray about and there was one particular morning I just felt God's presence so strong and um, the words began to come and one of the very first lines that I wrote uh, was my uh, chorus we're praying for peace within your borders standing with you shoulder to shoulder and um, so at that time it was so exciting. God gave me this song. I was able to sing it for the team of people that was going across Canada. And then for a couple years, the song is just kind of sat. And um, we prayed about it. We've, we There was a couple of times that um, there were opportunities that we might step through to record the song. And then we just at the last minute felt like, no, that wasn't the timing. So uh, just continue to pray while earlier this spring, Michael and I really just got impressed on our hearts that this is the time. Now is the time to, to record the song. And so um, we called a studio in Kitchener, Ontario, and we, we booked the date. And um, just shortly after that, I think it was in May, um, my pastor, Evangeline Inman, and her husband, they had just come back from a trip to Israel, their first time there. And um, I was just really sensing to ask Vangie um, to, to see if she wanted to take a look at my song and if she would have any input. And little did I know, the Holy Spirit was speaking to her. And she had said to the Lord, um, if, if this is really you, God, have Naomi ask me. So the very next day, we actually met for breakfast, and it was so neat. You know, I, I asked her, hey, Vanjie, do you think you just go back from Israel? I know you have such a heart for Israel. Would you mind taking a look at my song and see if you have any input or anything? 
And so she was so excited. She didn't tell me at that time that God had spoken to her. But when we got together a few days later, she shared with me that. So I just knew it was God. And our time together that day was beautiful. Um, she had some tremendous input. We expanded on the names of Jehovah. Um, I had the line in there, Jehovah Sham, our God's watching over you. And uh, so we, we continue to expand on the names of God and just um, we just sense God's leading and direction. So all of that to say, uh, we just knew the song was now ready. And so just came back from recording it last week, August the 9th. And um, there's two more phases. Uh, we're going to be putting on background vocals, kind of like choir sound in the background. And then we're going to be doing a, a video after we get that done, a video to the song. So keep us in prayer. We're so excited. We know God wants to use this. And what I'll wrap up um, this with is that we just found out a few days ago. I want to get this right. Um, but that... May 14th, 1948, the modern nation of Israel was founded. And Michael and I had no clue about that, but it's really exciting because next year, um, May 14th, 2018, marks the 70th anniversary of of the modern nation of Israel being founded. So next year there's gonna be celebrations happening all over the world, especially in Israel, commemorating um, this this incredible time of history for the nation of Israel. So when we found that out, we were just blown away because um, we just know that God wants to use this song in this day and hour in this time of history to be a voice of God's heart for the nation and of other brothers and sisters in Christ that stand with the nation of Israel to voice that, to sing, to sing it over the nation of Israel. So um, exciting things are in store, so please keep us in prayer. And we're going to update you as this project comes along. And if you want to know more, of course, check out our web website, heartsofmotion.com, um, or our Facebook page, or Michael and I personally. So thank you so much, and um, keep us in prayer. <laughs>